It's necessary to get the losers out of your life if you want to live your dream. Les Brown You don't have to be great to start, but to become great, you just have to start. Love hurts. Friends leave. Things go wrong. But remember that life goes on. The wise man accepts his pain, endures it, but does not add to it. Marcus Aurelius Correction does much, but encouragement does more. The person who doesn't make mistakes doesn't make anything at all. It's not about what you have, or even what you've accomplished. It's about who you've lifted up, who you've made better. It's about what you've given back. Jay Shetty When you get an impression of some pleasure, as in the case of other impressions, guard against being carried away by it, but let the matter wait for you, and delay a little. Now consider these two periods of time, that during which you will enjoy the pleasure, and that when the pleasure has passed, during which you will regret it and reproach yourself. Next set against these how pleased you will be if you refrain, and how you will commend yourself. When, however, the time comes to act, take care that the attraction, allure and seductiveness of the pleasure do not overcome you, but set against all this the thought of how much better it is to be conscious of having won this victory over it. Never confuse motion with action. Don't make one person the center of all your happiness. Don't make them the reason why you are happy, because once that person walks away from your life, you're left with nothing. In the confrontation between the stream and the rock, the stream always wins. Not through strength, but by perseverance. Buddha Give back. Even if it's donating your tag sale leftovers or handing a dollar bill over to someone less fortunate. Do it. It'll make you feel good. There is no point in being grown up if you can't act a little childish. You are not your thoughts. You are the observer of your thoughts. Jay Shetty This also thou must observe, that whatsoever it is that naturally doth happen to things natural hath somewhat in itself that is pleasing and delightful. As a great loaf when it is baked, some parts of it cleave as it were, and part asunder, and make the crust of it rugged and unequal. And yet those parts of it, though in some sort it be against the art and intention of baking itself, that they are thus cleft and parted, which should have been, and were first made all even and uniform, they become it well nevertheless, and have a certain peculiar property to stir the appetite. So figs are accounted fairest and ripest then, when they begin to shrink and wither as it were. So ripe olives, when they are next to putrefaction, then are they in their proper beauty, the hanging down of grapes, the brow of a lion, the froth of a foaming wild boar, and many other like things, though by themselves considered, they are far from any beauty, yet because they happen naturally, they both are comely and delightful. So that if a man shall, with a profound mind and apprehension, consider all things in the world, even among all those things which are but mere accessories and natural appendices as it were, there will scarce appear anything unto him wherein he will not find matter of pleasure and delight. 
so will he behold with as much pleasure the true rictus of wild beasts as those which by skillful painters and other artificers are imitated. So will he be able to perceive the proper ripeness and beauty of old age, whether in man or woman, and whatsoever else it is that is beautiful and alluring in whatsoever is, with chaste and continent eyes, he will soon find out and discern. Those and many other things will he discern, not credible unto everyone, but unto them only who are truly and familiarly acquainted, both with nature itself and all natural things. My opponent is sleep. I'm out there at four or five in the morning, chopping trees, working to this day. Because I can retire today. I'm well off, very comfortable. But I got the will to win. Take yourself out your comfort zone. Do not live in your bubble. Put some more air in your bubble. If you stay in your comfort zone, that's where you will fail. You will fail in your comfort zone. Success is not a comfortable procedure. What if we have that kind of attitude? The cars repossessed. Nobody believes in you. You've lost again and again and again. The lights are cut off, but you're still looking at your dream, reviewing it every day and say to yourself, it's not over until I win. The heaviest things in life aren't iron and gold, but unmade decisions. The reason you are stressed is that you have decisions to make and you're not making them. Embrace the process. And then by the time you get up, in years, you can be a man that you're proud of, okay? So this is just an encouragement to just chill out. Just chill out, embrace the process. You say, Dwayne, what process? Life. Be the guy who embraces the ugly, the miserable. Uh, be the guy who embraces hard work, the grind. Don't be afraid of being hurt. Don't be afraid of sacrificing some blood. You cannot change your life unless you change something. If you always do what you always did, you'll always get what you always got. He believed in himself. And you can too. You can do anything that, that you want. You can get sick. If you don't like loneliness, you don't like freedom. Learn to say no without explaining yourself. A single conversation across the table with a wise man is better than 10 years mere study of books. Chinese proverb. at your life with much more regret for the things that you didn't do than for the things that you did. To be well is a part of becoming well. We're not humans having a spiritual experience. We're spiritual beings having a human experience. Jay Shetty. What things soever are not within the proper power and jurisdiction of thine own will either to compass or avoid, if thou shalt propose unto thyself any of those things as either good or evil. It must needs be that according as thou shalt either fall into that which thou dost think evil or miss of that which thou dost think good, so wilt thou be ready both to complain of the gods and to hate those men who either shall be so indeed or shall by thee be suspected as the cause either of thy missing of the one or falling into the other. And indeed we must needs commit many evils if we incline to any of these things, more or less, with an opinion of any difference. But if we mind and fancy those things only as good and bad, which wholly depend of our own wills. There is no more occasion why we should either murmur against the gods or be at enmity with any man. Do not chase women. Instead, focus on your growth, 
values and cultivating kindness.